Here on Spain Revealed, I love to make tapas crawl videos and they're always really, really popular. But sometimes people say to me, but what about the neighborhood tapas bars? What are those like away from the historic center? Well, that's what we're doing today. We're gonna have a real true blue Madrid neighborhood tapas crawl in my neighborhood. So venga, let's go. Hey Spain lovers, I'm James Blick and welcome to Spain Revealed. This channel is all about helping you understand and explore Spain like a local. And what is more local than getting into the neighborhoods and visiting the local tapas bars. Now, in, in, in the neighborhoods and the local tapas bars, you're gonna find great food, terrible food, mediocre food, the whole range, of course. We're gonna go to places with great food today, but what you're always guaranteed of finding is authenticity uh, of, of neighbors, of locals who are living here and are going about their daily lives and eating and drinking. And that's what I wanna transmit to you today. We're in Delicias, which is only a five, 10 minute metro ride from the center of Madrid. Uh, I'll put all the information in the description of how to get here. This is my neighborhood. I live a block that way. And these are the bars I hang out in. Uh, and I'm so excited to show it to you. We're gonna kick off in Taberna Martin. This place has been here for 18 years uh, under the ownership of, of Jesus, but it's been here a lot longer before that. So let's go inside and check it out. Okay, so here we are in Taberna Martin. I mean, this place is a little bit of a time warp. You could be in a, a Spanish bar in the 70s or 80s. Uh, not a lot has changed and that's the wonder of it, the beauty of it. I love this place. Uh, it's just one little room with its zinc bar. Jesus has run it for 18 years and Jesus is famous for his sangria. So this is Jesus's famous sangria recipe that he'd been making for almost 20 years that people come to try. And uh, let's have a sip. Mm. Mm. It reminds me of something of my youth. I don't know what it is, uh, but it's delicious. I have no idea what's in there. Uh, it's not super alcoholic, which is actually really nice because you could stand here for hours and just chat and drink and watch the TV. And that's the beauty of it. And I love how he comes out with that plastic jug. As you'll see a sign here that says, it is prohibited to leave here without trying the sangria. So that's something really important to remember. You have to try the sangria if you come here. And then Jesus took us out back into the storeroom where he showed us the old tinajas or wine vats where the wine used to be stored. People used to come here to buy their wine to take home and they'd fill up containers of, of wine from these huge clay containers. Wine drinking has changed in Spain over the last 20 years and now most people buy wine in the bottle. But you'll still find places that will sell wine from the barrel or the vat, especially in Barcelona. And we also saw the old taps that used to connect through to the back room for filling up the wine. One thing that's wonderful about the tapas bars in the neighborhoods is that you will generally always get the free tapas. So in this case, Jesus has carved some ham here from the ham he's got sitting here. Uh, just, you know, delicious, uh, simple, wonderful ham to go with our sangria. Salud to Jesus' sangria. Uh, best sangria in Madrid, according to him, and I'm not gonna argue. Okay, so we're leaving Jesus' place. Uh, the sangria, although it doesn't have a lot of alcohol, is going to my head a little bit. Uh, and we're on to stop number two coming up which is Vinoteca Borboleta which is run by two sisters Laura and Miriam and this place is wonderful for its home cooking so and it's wine so let's check it out okay stop number two Vinoteca Borboleta this place is run by Miriam and Laura they've only been here uh, in this bar running it for about three months I was walking around one day down the street that I often don't come down and I was like that place is new I have an instinct I'm always sort of scanning for new bars it's a it's a bit of a handicap and a gift I guess and I came in for a drink and these two wonderful sisters so friendly run it uh, and it's just a fantastic place to come and have a vermouth the free tapa is always really generous and they make fantastic home cooking uh, we're here early it's 11 30 in the morning uh, but if you come you know in a couple hours this will fill up with locals who are having their aperitif it's called a binoteca which means a, a place to drink wine to, to buy wine and they have a really good wine selection I mean it's not you know you're not drinking hundred euro bottles this is a neighborhood place but a really good selection they, they serve it at a good temperature so here we have uh, their wonderful huevos rotos now this means broken eggs and it's a dish you'll get in tapas bars all over this country but here what I love about it it's like true home cooking the potatoes are slow cooked they're so delicious they just crumble the eggs are perfectly fried on the top uh, and there's delicious ham covered across it and what I also love is is their their mother and father are in the kitchen as well working away helping them out cooking this food this is true home cooking um, mm, it's food that feeds your soul and Tapas bars like this where where the, the, the owners are here and they're present and they're so friendly. Uh, these are places that feed your soul. That's what I love about them. So uh, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I think you will be too. So cheers to Miriam and Laura.
we're leaving number two, we're on to number three. This next place, Taberna Numancia, is run by a husband and wife from Soria to the northeast of Madrid, uh, and they're famous for their torreznos. Now, if you don't know what torreznos are, my God, you're about to find out. Let's do it. And now I stumbled across this place, uh, I don't know, six months or so ago. I love how I'm telling you the origin story of how I discovered each of these places because you can only find them wandering around because they're not on TripAdvisor, they're not on Google Maps. Well, they are, but not as much. Uh, wandering around, I saw this place, wandered in. I loved how small it was. There's a restaurant, a uh, little dining room over there. You can come and have a menu del dia. But I stood at the bar, they got a Great little wine list here of wines from Rioja and Rivera. Uh, and the, the dueños, the owners, uh, Juan Carlos and his wife, are from Soria. Well, they're from here, but they have roots in Soria. And they're famous for their torreznos. This dish here, now this is a dish, I don't know if you can call it a dish or a food, that is famous from uh, Soria. And so this thing is pork belly that has been fried in a certain way and it's, it, it's, it's inflated. And my God, when you eat it, it's crackling, it's fat, it blows your mind, uh, it blows everything. And so we've got one of those coming. Here we have the torreznos. Muchas gracias, Juan Carlos. So here we have the torreznos. This, I mean, look at that, that is pure pork belly, pork fat, uh, fried, recently fried, a little bit hot, um, but I'm gonna... Mm. Wow, it's like the juiciest, meatiest, most delicious pork crackling you've ever had in your life. That's the only way I can describe it. Just here on a bed of fries with some padron peppers. Um, absolutely delicious, uh, simple food, you know, but cooked perfectly with great ingredients. That's what I love about the neighborhood bars. It's not necessarily complex food, but it's about people who have pride in the quality of, of the ingredients and in the way it's cooked. And, and what, what more do we want, right? So what we've got here is uh, like torretnos, but they've been cut even finer. It looks like bacon, crispy bacon. My God, look at this. No sé cómo cogerlo, es que, bueno, mira. Mmm, claro, bien. Super rico. Yeah, I mean, you know what that tastes like. That is just pure fat and beauty. That is wonderful and salt. So delicious. Gracias, Juan Carlos. Okay, we're, we're doubling, tripling down on the pork here. We, Juan Carlos just brought this other dish that we've ordered, which I had once and I love. It's a brocheta iberica. Now, brocheta just means something on a skewer. Uh, and here we have grilled uh, black hoof Iberian pork meat. These are always hard to get off. I'm going to use my hands. I hope you don't mind. Those delicious vegetables, meat, peppers. Uh, zucchini. Uh, all right. Let's see. Mm, wow. Wow. Grilled Iberian pork is is life changing if you're a meat eater, and if you're not, well, grilled pepper is great as well. Um, I just love this dish. Again, what I mentioned before that what is wonderful about these places is that it's just wonderful ingredients, perfectly cooked, and that is my kind of cuisine. It's not fancy, great wine, great company. Ah, uh, I mean really, what more could you ask for? Okay, stop number four, La Cervecera. Now when Yoli and I moved to Madrid uh, eight, seven, eight years ago, this was a place just down the road from our first apartment and it was always the place that looked really expensive when we came on really special occasions. And I tell you what, it's not the cheapest of the bars we're going to today, it's probably the most expensive, but it's still, for the produce, for the quality of the food you get, it's amazing. So I've got here some scallops that have been grilled with some delicious pepper and some caramelized onion on top. I've got a glass of albariño. Mm, wow, 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 wow. I mean, I just said wow eight times. The flavor of the ocean, and then just a little bit of sweetness from the onion. I think there's a little bit of parsley in there and some garlic, uh, pairing it with the albariño. This is perfect. Seafood from the north of Spain, wine from the north of Spain. La Cervecera, this is a place you need to come to. I think, you know, you will love it, trust me. Okay, I don't even know what stop number this is, but it's loud, I hope you can hear me. We're in uh, Taberna Bar Casa Lastra. Just look up Lastra. And then the energy when we walked in was just true barrio bar. People are screaming and shouting and laughing behind me. It's Saturday at 3 p.m. There's a little bit of booze that's kicked in. Uh, and they've told us the specialties. We've got, some, um, we've got some clams coming that have been done on the grill with a little bit of garlic. Uh, we're having a beer and there's just cercanía. The people know each other and so this is a true, true barrio bar. So one of the things you'll see in these neighborhood bars is you'll see a, a glass refrigerated case that has a lot of the, the fresh ingredients that they're gonna cook for you and some of it also pre-prepared a little bit. So to give you an idea, what have we got here? We've got black 
blood sausage. Obviously, that will be cooked. Uh, we've got tharajo, which is braided lamb's intestines. That will be cooked as well. Uh, I seem to have got the, the, the offal corner here. We've got sweetbreads as well, uh, the thymus gland of a, the, of a lamb. Uh, we've got some chicken over there. We've got some, um, some sausage is here. We've got pincho moruno here as well. This is, uh, this is like a pork skewer with a spice on it. Obviously they grill that. Down there we've got pork loin, we've got callos, which are, um, which are tripe. And then we've got a tortilla patata. And then more that way we have, more that way we have the seafood that we've been eating. We've got fresh fish. We've got the, the almejas, the clams that we've been eating. And then they just grab the bag of them, chuck them on the grill and throw it. So I love the immediacy to the food in these places and I love the noise. All right, Jose, a uh, friend here that we've met in, in Lastra, La Lastra, is saying that this is his favorite bar in the neighborhood and the cocido is amazing. Uh, y, yeah, te recomiendo los, los torrendos. Bueno, si torrendos. tú vives por aquí, macho. Sí, pues vivimos por aquí. Los torrendos sí. aquí son cojonudos. The torrendos as well. We tried the torrendos in, in Numancia as well. Hay un bar por aquí se llama Taberna Numancia que tiene torrendos muy buenos también. So here the clams have arrived, beautifully done, just simple clams from the north of Spain, grilled on the plancha, a uh, little bit of garlic, a little bit of uh, lemon juice, and you eat them like this. Oh, wow. That is, del um, that is delicious. Now, actually, there used to be a bar just down the road here that Yoli and I used to love, and it closed down uh, about, well, about six, five years ago or so now. And we used to go there for clams on the grill. And now I have a new place and that's amazing. So feeling very welcome right now in the Lastra, feeling very full, uh, but I'm gonna keep going in honor of these wonderful places and the people inside them and the people who run them. So salud, La Lastra. Okay guys, we're in Bodegas Rosel. Now this place has been a bar or a tavern uh, or a wine shop since the 1870s. Uh, and this is a must visit. Uh, it is such a local hangout here in Madrid and it's famous, uh, but it's out of the center. And so this place has been, as I say, it's been open since the 1870s. The beautiful floor, uh, a lot of the decorations from the 1870s, and then what happened is in the 1930s the current family the Rossell family took it over uh, and now uh, Pepe I was just speaking to him he's over there he's third generation he still runs it and man the, the stories in this place you'll see a lot of uh, flamenco images and musical images on the wall guitars that's because this was a place where they used to play flamenco and play music when people would get together these wonderful old fridges behind us uh, that you just don't see anymore and they're still working it and they've been here since 1961 and when they arrived in 61 they were already second hand and they're still working so they don't build them like they used to. This place is a, has a wine history so the wine selection is excellent. This and La Cervecera, that other place we were at a couple bars ago, great places for wine. Well now these guys are famous for their croquetas. Uh, so we've got three types and what's beautiful here is you can order them by unidad. That means you can order them individually. So Yoli's full, I'm full, so we ordered one each because we've got uh, cod, ham, and the last one we have is, uh, is cabrales. Uh, Yoli's helped me there, it's a, it's a blue cheese from the north of Spain. So I'm gonna find out which one it is, and they're really crispy on the outside, so. Mm. This is the ham one, wow. See how creamy it is on the inside. Beautiful ham flavor. Okay. Mm. That one's bacalao, salt cod. Beautiful infusion of salt cod flavor right through that. Absolutely delicious. Um, I'm so full right now. Mm. Cabrales. Cabrales is beautiful blue cheese from the north of Spain, from Asturias. Those croquetas are fantastic. So, and I love that you can get them by unidad because often the trap with croquetas is you have to buy a whole ration, the big serving. And so there's two of you and suddenly you have 12 croquetas and it's too many. And look, I am such a fan, you might call me boring, I'm a fan of simple, amazing food. And this country, I feel like I'd never had a tomato until I moved to Spain, and the tomatoes we have in this country are phenomenal. So I have just ordered a simple, big, juicy tomato with olive oil, mm, salt, a little bit of vinegar. Oh my God, at this point, after so much food, it is just wonderful. It is the, the flavor of this country, of all the sun that just ripens these vegetables. So, Bodega Rosel, 
This place is an institution, so you've got to come while you're here in Madrid. So, salud, guys, and salud to Bodegas Rosales. Guys, I really believe that getting out of the center and into the neighborhood bars here in Madrid is a wonderful way to explore the city and to eat really well and, and see where the locals are and how they eat and drink. Uh, give it a thumbs up, this video, if you enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe. If you believe what I believe, that Spain is this fantastic place that deserves to be understood and explored, and, and thanks for watching, and, and well, salud, and I'll see you in the bars in my neighborhood. Cheers. Bye-bye.